Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Sprocket yet again, and today we're on the map where the uh, the ambush happens. In fact, I'm pretty sure this map is called Ambush. Anyway, what we're going to do today is we're going to build a bulldozer tank, and um, we're going to do it in the interwar period, because why not? Uh, if you guys are wondering what this thing is right here, this is a ramming tank. I would ram this thing into an enemy and hopefully destroy it. Um, it did work out quite a bit, but at the same time, sometimes it didn't work out at all. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this. We'll build a bulldozer and we'll see if it works. We're, we're going to add a gun to it. It's, it's going to be a gun bulldozer, but still. Okie dokie, so let's go ahead and start building, shall we? We're going to go to components. Components? Compartments. That's what I meant. We're going to go ahead and do this. There we go. It's almost like I've just woken up. I, I almost have. <laughs> I almost have just woken up. Anyway, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to tracks. And I want to try something that I don't generally do. Um, I want to go ahead and add some little tiny wheels. We're going to make this very small, by the way. So the length of this is only going to be like, I don't know, two and a half meters, three meters long, let's go with. Um, the idler is going to be quite big. We're going to go ahead and lower that down and make it quite large. Here we go. Uh, so it's going to be just like so. That's fine. We're going to bring that forwards and leave it there. Uh, we're going to make the other thing the exact same size. So 109. Oh, sorry. 1.09. Uh, it's going to be the same as the sprocket. There we go. Diameter of that. 1.09. Uh, if we could put these at the same height, that would be fantastic. And if we could have multiple of these, that would be great too. So spacing on axle, that's not what we want. Spacing in general, yeah. I want like three of these. Yeah, okay, that's good. And then the uh, the road wheels themselves, the diameter of those is gonna come all the way down. And there we go. I want it to be a lot like a like an old bulldozer, like a really old bulldozer. There we go. So we're gonna have it like that. I think that actually looks pretty cool. Yeah. Let's raise this up a little bit. I do want to see if this is actually able to move still, because it might not be able to move. Uh, in this game, the idler and the sprocket wheel. Sometimes just cause drag uh, and they don't actually act like wheels. So let's go ahead and put a driver's seat on this And we'll see if it can actually still move. Here we go. Wipe that on and go Yes, it can. Excellent. Okie dokie. So take that back off because clearly we don't want it to look like this. That is okay Yes, we're then gonna go ahead and shorten this up a little bit. There we go. Awesome. We're gonna go to mobility We're gonna uh, da -da -da -da, do the separation bring it inwards and leave it right there like so. That is pretty good. There we go. Extend these guys out to the side. Excelente. Uh, and then we need to add the front bit. Um, not entirely sure how well this is going to go, but let's go ahead and move this forwards. Um, we're going to go ahead and send this bit upwards in the middle, if we can. So extend this up. In fact, let's do both. There we go. Extend both of these guys. Uh, just like so. And that's actually where the engine's going to go, kind of. If that makes any sense whatsoever, the engine's going to go there. Anyway, drag this bit backwards. There we go. I want to extend these guys, just like so. Bring them off to the edge. And then I want to angle it inwards, if possible. So each one of these is going to come inwards, like so. And that is fine. Alright, at the rear, we're going to go ahead and push these guys forwards. Here we go. Just like so. That's good. Then we're going to go ahead and extend these guys out to the rear. And push it backwards, like so. Okay, fantastic. So far, so good. Maybe. <laughs> so far, so good, maybe. Alright, grab this bit, grab that bit, grab this bit, and this bit. There we go. And extend that bit upwards a little bit, just like so. And then actually, angle it inwards a little bit more. Good. Alright, so what else do I actually want to do with the uh, the front of this then? I want to go and extend it and push it inwards. There we go. I want to then extend it again and push it inwards even more. And that is what the front end is going to look like. Yes, I think that's actually pretty cool looking. We're then going to go ahead and grab each of these as we go. Yes. We're going to go ahead and grab that one and that one as well and extend it backwards like this. There we go. Okay. So far, so good. I quite like this. All right. So the next thing that we're going to do then is extend both of these guys. We're going to bring them towards the center a little bit. There we go. And we're going to drag it out forwards like so, uh, so that we can actually attach the bulldozer. Um, the bulldozer blade? I think they're called blades. Uh, to the end of this, because I think that's going to look awesome, actually. So grab both of these, bring it backwards to there. There we go. We're going to put the bulldozer blade on the front of this, and it's going to look sick. Okie dokie. So, first things first then, let's go ahead and drag these two backwards. There we go. We're going to go ahead and extend the face just like so, 
And we're going to go ahead and drag these sideways to each other. So extend that this way. Bring them this way. There we go. Until they pretty much meet. We're then going to merge them together because we should. So this one and this one. Merge. This one. Oh, that one and that one. Merge. Uh, this one and this one. Merge it. There we go. And then finally, these two. So that one and the one next to it. Hey, there we go. Merge them together. Excellent. So now we've got like a little bit of a bulldozer bar on the front. We need to extend it out sideways so we can defend our tracks. Here we go. And I honestly want to push that forwards a little bit too. Just because I feel like I can. So there we go. That's pretty cool. That is actually pretty cool. Okay, good. I'm happy with that. Then what we're going to do is extend it downwards just a little tiny bit. You know, just a little bit. We're going to grab all of this. There we go. Yeah. And then we're going to extend it. Bring it downwards. Bring it slightly forwards. And we'll have it look like this. Yes. Okay, that's kind of sick, actually. That's really cool. Um, unfortunately, I think we're having errors. <laughs> I think we might be having errors again. Maybe. Um, but that looks pretty awesome. We're going to leave it somewhat like this. I like it. Okay, so what else can we actually do to make this look a little bit nicer? Well, I'm thinking we extend this forwards like so. We go ahead and we grab this one and this one. And we extend these guys upwards. Just like this. There we go. And we're going to build an actual bulldozer sort of thing out of this. So if we extend these guys this way, we can bring it forwards. And this will be like a roll bar kind of thing. Extend that that way. And we'll grab this one. Bring it down. And... There we go. Down into there is pretty awesome. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's a little bit strange, but at the same time, it works. There we go. Let's bring these guys together. We won't merge them. There we go. We'll extend these guys and bring these guys together also. Yeah, we won't merge those either. And that's looking interesting. <laughs> I quite like it. Okay, so I've actually added a roof to this because I felt like that made a little bit of sense. We're also then going to try and split this. Here we go, we're going to split that right there, go ahead and grab this one, extend it across, and... Oh, I need to do it on both sides. Hang on, one second. I need to split this side too, it seems. So, split this, there we go, go to faces. That one and that one, extend it, there we go. And, essentially, we just got to bring them together right in the middle. Uh, if I can. Oh, it's quite a struggle to do this, and I don't know why. Because we should be able to just do this, and it goes all the way across, but that's not the case. We're getting very close. There. Okay. That looks like it's almost perfect. Good. Okay. Bulldozer is sort of working. You know, I'm actually thinking the shape of this at the front isn't quite right. So I'm actually going to go ahead and extend this guy back outwards. Um, and honestly, I think that's actually pretty good. Yeah, we're going to have it like that. That's a lot better. Oh, I didn't mean to spawn in, but this is cool. <laughs> I actually really like it. Okay, so let's go ahead and extend this guy forwards on this side. Here we go. Let's go ahead and grab that and bring it forwards like so. That's actually fine. We'll go to the top of this and we'll drag these guys backwards like so. And I kind of want to put a bench in there, but I'm not entirely sure how to do that. So what we'll use instead of a bench is actually one of these. Make it real small. Make it real tiny. There we go. And put it in. And then stretch it so it's really big. Here we go. Hey, yeah, now we've got an actual bench in there. Okay, I think that's fine. Um, and essentially, we're just going to leave it somewhat like that. I'm going to squidge it so it's not through the walls. And that's it. Good. Okay, so, uh, with that being said, let's now go to compartments yet again. Go to faces, grab this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. No, not that one. Oh, no, is this where we're having issues? This little bit right here. I think it is. I think it is. This little bit right on the front is where we're having issues. This bit. So, if we can invert that. I can't actually grab it on the top. When I merge things together, things go wrong. Things go horribly wrong. It's really annoying. Because that's actually on the back end. Like, not on the front. And it should be on the front. And it's just not. That's really annoying. It's very, very annoying. Okay, if we grab this and invert that. Is that better? No. Ah, That's so annoying. But we're going to go ahead and continue anyway, because I kind of like it, so we're just going to go with it. Um, right, okay, so let's go ahead and put a driver's seat uh, camera view in, I guess. So we'll go with crew, we'll go with viewpoints, we'll go with a driver's view. There we go, we're going to go ahead and smash that in right there, and we're going to squidge it. There we go. Okay, so it's not through the back wall, but it is in. Good. We currently don't have a gun. We kind of need a gun, not going to lie. Um, we also need a light, so we're going to go ahead and put a light on top of here. 
There we go. Obviously, the color of a bulldozer is usually um, yellow, so we're going to go ahead and make a yellow one. Here we go. Scale, doesn't matter. Hue, yellow, brightness. Yeah, there we go. We're building a bulldozer. We're doing it. Nice. Okay. Uh, then what else do we need to do? What else do we need to do? Um, some of these? Wouldn't actually go and miss on the side of there. Oh, actually not on both sides though. Just on one side there. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and add this to the other side. There we go. Fantastic. Anti-infantry. <laughs> Just put a machine gun on the front. Why not? No, we're not going to do that. We are not going to do that. Um, I am actually going to go ahead and put one of these on the rear. I'm going to flip it over because sometimes bulldozers had those... I don't know what they're called, but essentially they pull them through the, the, the mud. The mud in order to actually lift up dirt. So we're going to do this. Um, it might look a bit strange to begin with, but we're going to have it. There we go. Okay, yeah, a claw. That's cool. Okay, the other thing that I'm going to do is actually add one of these going through here. We're going to go ahead and do this on both sides, obviously. And we're going to go ahead and stretch it to fit. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. So it fits straight across there, and it's already in the right place. So we'll leave it just as is. There we go. So does it move? Okay, I'm going to lift these guys up a little bit too. So if we go to mobility, we can lift this guy up. We can lift this guy up, and we can lift this guy up, and then we can go. Yeah, boy! <laughs> hey! Oh, we can barely move, though. <laughs> okay, we get stuck quite quickly. Um, I know the reasoning, but it's annoying. Okay, so if we grab this and this, and this and this. Hang on. Oh, it's grabbing the ones behind. That's annoying. Okay, faces. We need to grab all the bottom ones, if possible. Which isn't. It isn't. It isn't possible. Oh, that's so annoying. It's very annoying. Okay, grab that from the inside. I can't get to the right bit. I can't get to where I need to be. And this. There we go. And then we extend it upwards a little. There we go. Bring it backwards a little too. There. So that'll make it a little bit easier for us. Now we should be able to go up hills a little bit. Yes, no. <laughs> yes, no. No, we can't. Okay, never mind. Uh, right, mobility, thickness. We're going to go with really thick. Um, we're going to go with length, really long. There we go. Uh, width is going to stay normal. That's okay. Uh, we're going to go with this guy. Everything else is going to stay as is. That's okay. And we'll leave it just, yeah, just as it is. That's fine. Um, go to engine. Yes. We're going to go and put some vents on this thing. Obviously, one directly at the front in the middle. This is not a good place for a vent, but um, it is where our vent is going to go. We're then going to get some little teeny tiny ones uh, to go in front as well, just like so, and that'll be okay. All right. Obviously, it's not the best, but it is what we have. Um, then we're going to go ahead and add these guys, which is very strange, uh, right here. Okay, right there, just like, just like that. Clearly, that's very weird, but if we go ahead and we angle them back up straight like this, and then we move them into position, they might not look quite as bad, maybe. Also do this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's strange. I like it, though. Okay, let's move this out of the way. Put it there instead. There we go. Move these guys out of the way and put them there. And we've built a bulldozer thing. Okay, so, I mean, if you had if you had one of these vehicles, where would you actually put a gun? Um, my answer is probably actually on the front. I might even put it... I wish I didn't merge things like this now. I do, but I might put it behind this. There we go, so it goes straight through that. Um, and that's it, actually. Yeah, we're just going to have it there. I'm sure that's fine. So, 255. There we go, so it can actually move cannon itself is going to be a longer barrel than that. There we go. 75 with a 75 millimeter propellant? Probably not. 57 with a longer propellant. Oh, that's not good, actually. There. 88 millimeters of pen. Okay, go. We need a gunner's sight. <laughs> we need a gunner's sight. Hang on. That's going to go... Uh, where should the gunner's sight go? Right here in the middle. There we go. Alright, we're good to go, guys. Oh, we need a commander's cupola thingamabobby. That could go in the floor. Oh, this can look sick, actually. Commander's cupola. In the floor. 
Oh, it could have been on the top too. Oh, we could have done loads of things with this. All right, there we go. That's going to go there. Antennas, we don't need. What else are we missing? We need shells. Okay, hang on. Firepower. Ammo storage. Here we go. Let's just whack it all in the front next to the engine. Bosh. Off we go. We're going in, guys. We're doing it. This tank is pretty much ruined anyway, purely based on the fact that uh, our armor on the front is all all broken, but that's fine. Oh, I shot a tree down. <laughs> okay, hang on. Oh, this is difficult. This is really difficult. It's not going through. It's not. I'm not going through. He's shooting a tree. Die. Why isn't it dying? Die, please. Die, please. Hey, we got it. Okay, why is no one else shooting each other? <laughs> What's going on here? What's going on here? Okay, here we go. Alright, set that one on fire. This bulldozer's coming back towards me. With its gun between its legs. Alright, I think I got that one. I'm not sure. Hey, there we go. Okay, I think we're doing an alright job here. Bulldozer versus tanks. Bulldozer winning. <laughs> okay, where's the enemy? That's the big one at the end. Unless that guy's alive. I don't think that guy's alive. Alright, let's get in there. Okay, so I should have probably modified the engine as well, but uh, since the, the front didn't work out as well as... Okay, so essentially what I'm saying is, I would have scrapped this build if... Um, uh, well, I would have scrapped this build. However, I've decided not to scrap the build in order to actually try and fight this. However, um, it's not going to go well. Everything's going to die. And I need to cry a bit. But, you know, that's fine. Normally, I would have just ended this video and scrapped it. But, never mind. Anyway. Um, Alright, we shot it. And we won. Hey, there we go. Uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to end this video here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching whatever the heck this was. And in the next one, I want to build something better than this. I do. I really do. But for now, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye. Oh, and just to add to the end, I didn't expect this thing to ever ram anything with the bulldozer blade. I expected the bulldozer blade to just be some armor for the tracks behind. However, the tracks behind are actually the same thickness as the armor, so it didn't really matter anyway. And also, it didn't cover them either, but that's also not the problem. The problem is that this ended up being like this, and uh, clearly that is an issue. Um, yeah, the, the, the fact that this broke a little bit in design is, is annoying. But anyway, uh, I'm going to end this here. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.